Okay. Let's get the notes ready. We have our splits. Ah, uh, get the controller. That's very important. And then let's just go on ahead and do that. I actually think that I can omit a few stamina upgrades along the way. I do want to grab the first ones pretty quickly though. Because we don't have a lot of stamina at the beginning, but after that, yeah. Alright. Let's get this show on the road in. Three, two, one, go. This is already off to a way better start simply because I don't have to wait to overwrite my safe state. <laughs> Okay, and so we now that we now know that we have to wait for the on-screen prompt to actually show up before our attacks will register. Maybe you can do the rotation earlier though. Mamori Okay, I see. I think once the uh, dust cloud that appears when the sword strikes, that is when you press square to initiate the counter. Ah. Ah. Learning. ひろきだな。愛子様へ一つ手土産でもいかがかな。あさり、鈴木。承知いたしました。何を気にかけているんだい？間違いで。早道がございます。通れば事になるやもしれませんが。さらと乙女になる先生もここにはおりませんそれほど厳しい父ではありませんここで何をしておるいかにも先生がいらっしゃるところに違いがあります。先生が What do you guys want to see? Kidding me. Yeah. 
Imagine dying in the first chapter. That was close. この向こう水のものの符は誰だ。して。<laughs> <laughs> すでに村の多くが燃やされ、多くの命が奴らの手にかけられておる。The <笑> Oh, come on, where did you throw that shuriken, buddy? Like, what the heck? Talk. Talk. Why did he throw that shuriken once again? Ah, Lord. Yatsaka Okay, at least this time we know that we actually have to fight the boss a little bit. You're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to taunt me when you go back. That's it. I forgot that you don't have the skill yet that blocks both directions. <laughs> but hey guys, if you want to see any specific ending, you know, the love, duty, or vengeance endings, let me know. I think you have until about the end of the sixth chapter to decide. Because I think that's really the only choice that really matters, right? It can make choices at the end of the fourth and fifth chapters as well, but I don't think they really matter. I 
do you have to gens around something like that? to use the shurikens here because these guys uh, run at you anyway だと聞いておったのに雨の中ババードも切ることは戦ではないここを見張ることこそ肝心じゃつまらぬ役目よ人殺し犬畜生命お前などひどい雨で立ってたらやめ。見送り。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。
Okay, we said going left isn't worth it. Stabs. Come on, really? Uh... That is such a time loss here. Save my shuriken for this party. Oh shit. Oof. I 
Yeah, definitely grabbing that. すごい場じゃ。森光殿や他の者が生きておるならあそこにおるはずじゃ。命乞いするには少々遅すぎたな。止めろ。That is the attack that you have to be careful about. Can I actually jump down here? Can. There's a the little jump. Literally only do that because of the shuriken here. Actually would pick them up. Actually, didn't I say I didn't want to use my arrows here? I think I said exactly that. 
This is something that's coming up. In the, can I, yeah, this one. Little this. So there was nothing of interest there to the left. Ah, fuck. Yeah, still worked out. Uh... Right, that was a good upgrade. This is not a shock. It's not a shock. It's not a shock. It's not a shock. was that? Oh. oh, because you just got the upgrade, I think. Yeah. Bye. Okay, so that doesn't always work. Nazimi no Kaobakarija. 
皆よく存じておるまだ息のあるやつがおる武器を持っておる Dude. Jesus Christ. Why don't you just turn around like that? Oh. Kept the shiny. Missing that shot, huh? Didn't even know where I got that checkpoint. Hit me. Thank you. Answer to what was I must. Aiko Makoto is so not a dark. Aiko Doko Ek. シナレドどこか気懐かしくある。Uh, sure yes. I don't think there was anything of interest to the right. Something worth all here. Kind of forgot where it was. They could have picked up more arrows. This is actually faster on Kensei. Kensei. 
Because, you know, fighting these dudes is actually pretty fast. So I'm actually not going for the uh, stamina upgrade up there. I'm just gonna omit that this time. Going down there as well. Another stamina upgrade, and I think it's a shuriken capacity upgrade, but that is just way too far out of the way. There, come here, get sliced and diced. Ignition. Nice. I think you can grab this stem and upgrade though. because there are two upgrades. I think I saw some arrows over there as well. Yep, there they are. Nice. Shuriken was unwarranted because he was already pretty close to us anyway. Actually, I don't think you have to pick up those arrows earlier anyway because we're getting a quick upgrade here. Uh, and again, it's actually pretty bad coming up here because we have to fight more enemies. Rather not go up there. 
So maybe pick up the arrows. Do I want to go to the top of the tower? I mean, it's pretty far out of the way. Actually, I could activate this checkpoint down there and then reload the checkpoint. That work? Not so sure. Just, I really want this capacity upgrade. Still think this isn't worth it. Hey, you haven't seen you in a while, how are you? Yes, this just released last week. And this is the first evening of speedruns. Yet, you know, guys, if uh, you want to see another see? ending, we have the choice between love, duty, and vengeance. If you want to see any of those three endings, let me know, and we can absolutely change that. Doing good? Good to hear. Finally, holidays? Wait, what kind of holidays are you on? Okay, time for the puzzles. On right, on left, on right. A puzzle leaves. Oh, okay, I see, I see. So, vacation. Vacation time. Ah, oh, that's great, man. Vacation is always a good time. Uh, I can just grab these. I don't have to go there. There were some arrows, but mm, I think we still have enough of them. Do you want to grab the stamina, though? Definitely want to grab the shrine. Good time to be productive. <laughs> How's the drawing coming along? 
貴様はひどきであるえっ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、How about you die and I live? Just rifle ammunition, okay. What did I know? Just doing that for the shrine because I don't need the Otsuzu. Really? Shit. Ah, oh, come on, I didn't want to do the stab. to attack just get out of the way okay i guess we just take this a little bit slower then <laughs> that was so bad now was it uh so the second one right left left right Right, left, yeah, okay. Well, that is forming. We grab the upgrade. Just a collectible. Uh, target time for the speed run? I guess for now it would be one hour 45 minutes. And we'll just go from there. See how far we can push it even more.
didn't want to be the step, the game thought otherwise. I mean, the step is just so easy to You basically really just hold forward and attack, and then he stabs. So, you know, when you are approaching the enemy, and you're still holding forward to go to them and attack, you automatically do the stab. So in order to not do the stab, basically you have to approach the enemy, let go of the analog stick, and then attack. So, you know, it's, it's, it's a little finicky. Ah, come on. What? Look at that. The good thing about that double sweep is the first attack mostly misses because the enemies are still invulnerable when they come into the combat plane, so to speak. But the second strike hits them. And basically kills them because this is cancer mode. I actually have maximum arrows. Uh, I think I will get the stamina. That far out of the way. Oh, God. the fucking stab again. killed that guy if I hadn't gone for the stab because my attack would have hit him first. Like that. <laughs> I blocked that. Pretty sure I did at least. Saredo Coco de Mioshkiba. Noreni Sumukmo Nazi. Are you kidding me? <laughs> that was the world's shortest fight. Jesus Christ. What the fuck? to the side, buddy. I don't have the attack yet. Uh, that was a little bit 
fudgy, but go through that. I forgot that the, the skill that I wanted to use we actually get after this fight. So a little bit awkward. So we don't have to get that shrine because there is one just after this. Yeah, I don't think you can die there, can you? Yo, Nashlex! Hello, everybody. Welcome, Raiders. How is everybody tonight? Uh... <laughs> Boob! Yes, everybody, please center your boobs. Be a boob, sorry. Singular. Center your boob. Focus. Everybody's alright. Tractiomi is good. I like it. Like, uh, I may sound like a little bit like a broken record at this point, uh, but it is definitely a little bit rough around the edges, but it's fun, you know. As long as you don't expect the next Ghost of Tsushima or something and just take it for what it is, it's a pretty good time. We just got the Platinum Trophy for this uh, during our earlier run tonight. And now we're just doing our second speedrun, like right after. You now immediately going for all the improvements that we have found, hopefully. And see if we can set another record. Always single the boobs, exactly. Die. Once in two minutes, need to use the bathroom? Oh god. <laughs> well, guess I read that at the wrong point then. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's all going split because this is literally the second run, right? So, uh, you know, it can only get better from the first one, right? That is why we like second runs of games, because it's pretty much all gold split every single time. That is the beauty of a second run of a game. Oh god, uh, I fudged that up like beautifully. Also, everybody, keep in mind this is Kensei mode. It's basically a one hit kill mode. Everything dies in one hit. That is me and the enemies. The only thing exempt from that are bosses, which still behave normally. But everything else is a one hit kill affair. So this is a pretty interesting mode to speedrun, I would say. It's fun though. I like it. Oh, it keeps the blood pumping. Uh, oh god. Wait, which puzzle is that? Fuck. I forgot. This is the last in chapter 5. So it's one right, two left, two right. Oh. Oh lord. <laughs> I kind of forgot which chapter I was on. <laughs> maybe I have to work on my uh, puzzle notes a little bit as well. And maybe actually put them into my freaking notes. And not have them extra on a little notepad right here. That could help. Okay, we do want the bow capacity upgrade. Do we do we do? I hate when these ladies do that. It is absolute bullshit. I'm not the enemy that I wanted to shoot, but at least. I did not get ESA approved yet. No. But 
but you know, there are still games in limbo. So we still have a chance. And this is actually a game that I want to submit as a chase game, which is why we're running it right now. <laughs> I mean, I have no idea how the chances for this game to get in are, but it's a pretty new game. So, I don't know. Never know. Ah, uh, this is fudged, man. Oh. Okay. That was like really close. I mean, I don't know, but I think this is a pretty entertaining run in a way. Definitely. 973% to get in. That's a interesting number, but I'll take it. through me ghost lady oh come on that is like the shits you know that guy being able to hit me because I was hitting the ghost lady fuck you man honestly ah fuck Get these Ronin. Freaking teleporter. Okay, do you stand in place now? Okay, so I can actually kill you. Great. As you stop running. The cat was making you run around. How did the cat make you run around? Who's the boss back there with you guys? Is it you or is it the cat? Also, don't answer that, because we all know the answer. <laughs> Alright, give all the stuff. Oh, you know what? Now, I think I didn't pick up two stamina upgrades that I did pick up last time. Let's see if we can actually still do the strategy for this boss. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Yeah, okay, so... Not like that. <laughs> Definitely not like that. Why couldn't I move at the start? I was frozen in place. What? Okay, it seems to love that attack now. still worked, but it was really close. Holy crap. Okay, we nearly would have died there. Cat is ghost lady confirmed. What? Petrified worth fear. Oop, first try. Always with the boot. Wasn't exactly first try, but I'll take it anyway. The goat, wait, the cat slipped into the shower? Is your cat broken? Uh, no, this isn't good. This is not good. I repeat, this is maximum not good. Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, uh, okay. Shit. That got a little struggle with what was going on there. I didn't see the ghost lady. Was it, I think this is the first time I saw her actually attacking me. Normally she just summons other dudes. <laughs> That's interesting. Okay, shot that guy in the knee. So now maybe I should kill these guys before the ghost lady comes around. So we can focus our attention on her. Might not be the worst idea come out of my brain. Uh, that works a little bit better. 
Uh, there's nothing to the right. Maybe the cat was too slippery and wanted to wash it off. <laughs> Maybe. Did these guys just stab themselves? Uh, this part again. I think I just want to go ahead and spam my shuriken in this fight. Don't go behind me, bastard. Ah, oh, come on with a fucking stab again. I didn't want to stab him, I just wanted to hit him. <laughs> can get overwhelmed here so easily. Because they, they really throw everything into kitchen sink at you here. These guys can't decide who's gonna attack. Apparently. Again with a fucking stab. Stop stabbing. I don't want to stab. Stab is slow as shit. Die. Really? He wasn't on the combat plane. Are you fucking kidding me? That's bullshit. Certified bullshit. That's also bullshit because I don't even want to talk about it. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Just take it slow. Take it slow. Gonna attack next, okay. This guy's gonna attack next. Then the Ronin. And the armor guy. Okay. This guy comes in. And then we shoot this guy. Alright. Strategy. So this guy just to get him off the field. And this guy, wait for him to attack, kill him, advance, turn around, boom, boom, continue. Ah, uh, this is two left, one right, two left. Do I actually have to kill these guys or can I just, just... No, I have to kill them. I was gonna say maybe I could activate the obelisk before I have to kill them, but obviously not. Uh, I do have to grab the stamina upgrade, which is over here. So Nash, like, did you actually hear what I said about the game, or were you already gone at that point? 
Because I didn't read that you were gone for a couple minutes. Ah, oh, come on! I blocked. Maybe I didn't. Did I actually get hit by an arrow? Yeah. That part is always a little bit nerve-wracking. Uh, we are second red puzzle. Two right, one left. To right, yeah, okay. Ah, there we go. I was gonna say, why isn't there anything happening? Uh, we go this way. Ah, come on, that didn't hit. Bullshit. Oh, lady. Ah, oh, fuck. Ah. It's really because I use the strong attacks to get rid of the ladies, and then somebody sneaks up from behind me and just outright fucks me up. It's a really shame that we don't meet this dragon. Oh, but I'm cool. What? Wait, what? Throws you back so far. Fuck. Not good. I was still doing hella good on time, but still. That was a costly, costly death. Maybe take this a little bit slower then. Okay, this fight again. What is that Ronin doing? Ah, oh, I walked right into that. That was my bad. I literally walked right into it.
Okay, better. Alright, the arrows are on the stairs. Church, church. Hey! Sarutoki Gakta! You mean you're using none of us? Last one to left, to left, on left. Because we are getting close to the choice. So if you want to see a specific ending, let me know now. Again, the choices are love, duty, or vengeance. It's good stepping multiple forgot all these summer challenges. <laughs> yeah, you got popped by that. What a ghost, not the mono no marbles. Sarah, the Azamaki, my Akashija. Oh god, there's a sky right over yeah, yeah. God, where are you even coming from? And why are you not hitting him? そう、ディレイ I didn't see the gun guy. Ah, crap. Yo, you can't 
なすべきことをなすのじゃお前が志を貫く先にあるのは忘却じゃ Dude, what, why didn't you attack? What the fuck? There are two gun guys there, even. Hey, Block, you don't kill all of them? Yeah. You have to kill all the enemies in order to be able to proceed. You can't leave any of them alive. Hey guys, the choice is coming up. What do we in love? What do we choose? Love, duty, or vengeance? Get your choice in now. Or the ending. Ah, crap. Uh, that was a little bit iffy. Okay, here comes the fun board. Sometimes it can move. Interesting. Love, duty, or vengeance, guys. What's gonna be? I'll go full hand projectiles. Uh, because you only have a limited amount. Fuck. Duty, alright. And keep in mind, this is Kensei mode, so everything is one hit kill. The only thing, except from, except from that rule, are bosses, as you can see. Everything else is a one hit. It's a special mode that you can play in this game. Ah, fuck. That fucking rush attack. This is like really the hardest boss of this mode, I think. Yeah, I think I mistimed that. Yeah, I definitely need more practice on this guy. <laughs> that was a really cheesy kill. <laughs> Just shot it with a freaking arrow. Oh, I love it. Anyway, last chapter. Kagero no Iki no Neo Tomer. I think it's normal difficulty otherwise for the bosses. So the bosses are on normal difficulty, I think. I'm not 100% sure. But it definitely doesn't feel like easy, because I think I killed them, well, easy on easy difficulty when we had our playthrough of that. Uh, this way. So 
I think it's still faster to go this way. Wait, did we say last time that going down is faster? Uh, this gives me arrows though. We can just turn around, but I'm not the second guy. Yep, there he is. All oh, right, the archers. I forgot about the archers again. Crap. Okay, let's go front door. Wow. Okay. I hate it when they just go behind you for no apparent reason. Actually, proceed here. I think it's best to just, yeah, range kill these guys, and then just proceed. We don't have to go to the left because it's only ammunition for the gun, which we don't use anyway. Fuck you too, dude! I was killing that gun guy. How dare you kill me in the process? That's way too smart. Got wrecked. Mini boss, bye. <laughs> I just love this absolute disrespect that we are showing these guys. They're just immediately killing them. Oh, hey. Ah, come on. Okay, you can die, and then you come from behind. Excuse me? The fuck? Okay, that's why you can't come from behind. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, bopped. Very bopped. Uh, there should be another... Okay, who's on the front? He's on the front. No, he's not on the front. Fuck. Ah, uh, fuck. Ah. Uh, that is why I hate these planes sometimes. Sometimes it's really hard to see who is actually on the front, on the combat plane where your arrows will go to. Oops. Oh, uh, that was really close. I blocked too late. That's on me. <sighs> and they went on the comet plane while I was attacking. Oh, it's only these two enemies here. Spear, dude. Wait. There's ammunition down here. Okay. Good. So no Okay. <laughs> 
He kicked me in the balls and I died. One. Chill time? Why is it chill time now? Ah. Fuck. Ah. Oh, wait, 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 where, where am I? Okay, I got totally confused there. What the fuck? Put my drink, snack, stream down, and I get to relax and watch this unfold. Ah, I see. Ah, fuck. Ah, fuck. That gun guy is like breaking my concentration, even though I'm not even fighting him yet. Oh, God, I hate this so much. Dude, what? Reach on that guy. <sighs> he immediately kicks you. Why do I die from the kick? I mean, you know, I can understand dying from the sword strikes like immediately, but from the kick, that's like not cool, dude. Not cool. Also, you know what? I think I have enough ammunition to just okay do that first and foremost. Okay. Okay, there we go. Ah, no, no, no! <clears throat> I didn't want to shoot the arrow. Okay. Come on, shoot. What is that shit? Why is he allowed to immediately kick after shooting that arrow? None of the other guys did that. Oh, wait, that actually works. Once again, where are you shooting? Okay, wait for... Is this the category you plan to submit? I'm not sure yet. Maybe. I mean, so far it's the only category I've run. <laughs> well, I mean, I've completed the game on other difficulties. But I think it might be the most interesting one, you know, just because of the one that kills stuff. Soccer player, obviously. <laughs> I don't care if he's a soccer player and it's stop kicking me. It's disrespectful. But you know, I also just like the lethal mode in Ghost of Tsushima, which is kind of similar to this, with the one-hit kills and stuff. I think it just makes for really interesting runs. Oh, come on, that is bullshit. I didn't touch that fire, it's like last time. Why do I always die at that particular corner? Is there already a fire going or something? Maybe you really have to take that really harsh thing. Yeah, probably because that little bit of fire is already there. Damages you just a little bit. Oh, that's like a really tight corner you have to uh, do there. Run away! Explode in the other world! Uh, go, go, continue, please.
you. Alright. Uh, pick up the ammunition. Wait, was there more ammunition over here? I think there was. Yes, yes, yes. There is more ammunition here. Alright. Kotabi. Final boss fight. Wait. Was that another? Totally is. Nice. Penalty seems to be seconds, thankfully, for the most part, so it's safe. Yeah, for sure. You never lose that much time because it's very generous with checkpoints. First phase done. Wait for him to throw the fireball. Attack. Block. Oh, you bastard! Oh shit, we're dead. <laughs> the fucking bastard teleported behind me and did the fire floor thing. The fuck? And since I was in the corner, there was just no way for me to evade that. That's fun. Okay, dude. Throw your fireball. I know you want to. Attack me, don't teleport, bastard. Okay, sense of skills, buddies. What am I doing? Fucking idiot, I should have just gone for the heavy strike and you would have been dead. Why did I throw the shuriken? I am an idiot. this attack dude no get away from me don't back off it's not backing off uh, no. Oh, he skipped the final cut? Why did he let us cut in? I mean, he didn't. Let's skip, let's skip part of the ending. We didn't need to do that. Shit. Oh, that was good. Okay, that's good. The rain traps are really slow and leave you open to attacks when you're on other difficulties. Yeah, they're quite lethal. Well, keep in mind, only the bow is really slow. The, sh the shurikens are still pretty fast. Possibly it was a boo boo. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Didn't see that. Thank you for the GGs. But yeah, I mean, you know, that's already nearly a 20 minute time save there. So we already got the sub uh, 140. And there are at least five minutes of mistakes in this run, you know, where I kept dying over and over. Uh, you, sh you should just um, send that link to me in Discord or something. I will watch that. Yeah, I think this this run is shaping up to be something. 
Interested to see if we can uh, still push this sub 130. I mean, we might. So far, I'm feeling pretty good about this. I think the two biggest hurdles are like uh, the last two bosses in chapter 6 and chapter 7. I think you've got sub 130 within 15 runs. Possible. Possible. It's just, you know, you, you have to, like, uh, get a good mixture in between going fast and going slow. Because what mostly killed me was where I started to get a little bit too impatient and started just running into a combat arena and just get swamped by enemies. And also getting stabbed, like, a lot. <laughs> I have to be really careful about these enemies with the hats on, because they can either uh, start their attack with a heavy attack, or with a stab. So you want to block the stab, because after that you can just kill them, but if they go for the heavy attack, they stun you, and then they just kill you. So we have to be a little bit careful with that. But yeah, I think stamina felt good. I don't think I want to pick up less uh, stamina upgrades than I did because on the chapter 5 boss it was like really really close to uh, tiring ourselves out. So I think I just hit the right amount of stamina that I want to pick up uh, during this run. Sub-125 is going to be harder. Item management will be interesting. Yeah, that's another thing. Um, I think you have to just really meticulously route out uh, the usage of your ranged items. Like that is definitely something that I have to look a little bit more into yet. Because there are situations where I definitely want to have them, like specific fights. And uh, others uh, where you definitely do not need to use them. So you go with a game room by room. Yeah, for sure. You could definitely do that. Like, you know, it's, it's basically always a mixture between having a little bit of a free roam area where you can go and explore to pick up upgrades, and then you have your combat arenas. And since it's always the same, you know, the enemies spawn at the same spots, they're always the same type of enemy. It's like all, you know, set in stone in a way. So you could definitely plan all that out. So I just have to go ahead and do that. But yeah, I mean, we basically showcased that my initial estimate of two to two and a half hours was like off <laughs> by a good hour or so nearly. Well, the next part will, will of course also be, you know, is this the category that I want to concentrate on or do I want to run other categories? I mean, you could upgrade it to easy difficulty, but then you would have to do a lot more fighting because uh, only the bow insta-kills there. The shurikens don't. So, uh, submitting I'll DM you a bit later. So let me just ink for you. Oh, okay. Well, let me know. Hold on, I'm just let you hear that. They have a Kabuki mode, exactly. I mean, you know, there's also still normal and Ronin mode that we can speedrun. The Kabuki is the easiest, obviously. Then we have Bushido, which is normal. Road, speedrunning Ronin difficulty, I mean, that is gonna be, you know, the big oof. Because we did our initial playthrough in Ronin difficulty and it was harsh. Like, remember that last boss fight? Oh my lord. You definitely want to go ahead and grab basically all the upgrades, I think, there. I'm an analyst by heart, so I've completely disassembled the first cut list. What were you looking for? And then of course, you know, we have Kensei mode, where we did two speedruns on. 
Everything besides bosses can be defeated with a single hit, including you. So that is the thing that's happening here. You'll see. All right. I'm interested. <laughs> Let me know. I think you can definitely go ahead and push chapter 5 below one hour. I think that is the barrier that we're gonna aim for the next couple tries. Because it's really a fun category, like I said, balance between speed and safety. Yeah, exactly, you know. That is what makes it fun. You know, I, I was really, um, I don't want to say anxious, but I just like the fact that uh, games like these, you know, especially these samurai games that I'm starting to get into, have modes like this. You know, because Ghost of Tsushima also added with lethal, with lethal difficulty, which wasn't exactly, you know, harder than a hard mode. It was just different because everything could basically one-shot you, but you could also one-shot all the enemies. And I think that's a way more interesting mode than just having a difficulty beyond a hard that is just more inflated numbers. Because that is just really uninteresting for me. Because everything just takes longer, it doesn't necessarily require more skill. I mean, it re requires more endurance, sure, but nah. I just hate bullet spawned enemies. Follow your patterns and hot the game application system. Eh. Interested to see your findings there, National X, for sure. But yeah, we have our first runs done. I am really happy with that. Um, but that also means that uh, I'm gonna be putting this on hold for a little bit. <laughs> because believe it or not, I have a marathon coming up this weekend you know so on wednesday and friday i'm gonna go ahead and um start practicing for that a little bit because i have a run of samurai jack battle through time uh during hackathon 2022 and i haven't run that game in a good month or so so i'm starting to be a little bit rusty because i played so much elden ring and now this in between so we do have to get back into that and um, yeah so we will be doing practice runs on wednesday and friday and then the run itself will happen this saturday so you know if you guys don't have anything to do this saturday morning do come around and check that one out it will be a fun time for sure and uh, once that marathon run is done, it's gonna be back to this game. And just keep on running it. But the nice thing is, you know, now that I have some runs in, I can actually uh, submit those to SRC and get the leaderboards going for this game, which is also nice. Because I'm kind of pretty sure that nobody else is probably running this game at the moment, or maybe even intends to. I don't know. <laughs> it's probably gonna be another pretty lonely leaderboard affair. <laughs> Maybe I can convince some of the Ghost of Tsushima guys to join me in this one, but uh, we'll see. <laughs> Time to hype it up! Exactly! Once more! Once more into the breach. Anyway... I guess this is it from me for today. So... This opens up the question, who do we raid? I have a couple options for you here, actually. We have Pollister doing some Tregmania. We have Mango playing some Nino Kuni Wrath of the White Witch. Then we have Killer Chair doing some Mega Man. We have Bowie playing some Devil May Cry. And Nico playing later alligator. And then we also have the Black Tastic, Bobby, doing some Rogue Legacy 2. So what actually strikes the offense, you guys? Anything you want to watch? Love Rogue Legacy 2. 
I really love the first one. I haven't played the second one yet. I don't think it's out on PlayStation yet, so you know I might hold off on that for just a little bit. Over with about 3,000 hours of extra polish. Oh my god. What the fuck? Alright, I guess that decides the matter then, huh? Let's go ahead and raid Bobby. So, just stick around for just a moment, if you please. So you can say hello to Bobby for me. He's a wonderful guy. Absolutely love the dude. So I don't mind, you know, checking him a rate at all. But yeah, other than that, um, thanks so much for watching, everybody. This was a fun ride. Like I said, uh, Wednesday, Friday will be more Samurai Jack Battle for Time. Then will be the marathon run on Saturday. And after that, we'll, we'll be back to Track to Yomi. So thanks so much for watching. Have a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you guys are. And uh, I guess I will see you soon. Until then, everyone. Bye-bye.